Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. This video is going to be kind of random. I have lots of things that I have purchased that I think you might want to see. I have some really cool books that I got and I have some happy mail. So we're going to go through everything and it's just going to be a smorgasbord type video. <laughs> okay, um, where to start? Let's start here. <clears throat> So I found an Etsy seller that has some really cool vintage like full sheets and quilt pieces and like basically things that I think you guys would be interested in. Um, I mean, I bought this for me, but when I realized that it was probably something that you guys would like, I thought I would share it in a video. I'm going to have the seller down below. I'm just looking on my um, receipt here. And it is uh, on eBay. Her shop's called My Wildflower Studio. I can't remember if that's... I always have trouble knowing how to work eBay, so I don't know if you can just type in that. But I'm going to have her link, so you can go directly to that. Um, and she just has a lot of, like, you know, vintage things that I think we like. Um, and so... Oh, I'm already excited. This is just so much fabric right here, but... This, I think she included like a little extra goodie and look how pretty this is packaged up. I love how it's packaged in this um, sewing pattern paper, which I'm going to keep because I will use and a really pretty little like tag and everything. <clears throat> I think she actually had, she did have vintage sewing patterns as well and they were like lots of them, which I think is the best way to buy sewing patterns if you are wanting to get some. So like I said, this was um, just something that was included, and this is just so pretty. She has it, oh wow, decorated, or not decorated, but she has it packaged up so eloquently. Look at this, a little tag with some, like, I'm going to guess that's like a vintage trim. I probably should know this. And then, wow, okay, I didn't expect this. Um... I did let her, I did reach out and let her know that I was going to share her shop in a, or not her shop, but my order in um, a video once she had sent it. And she said, awesome, great, like, feel free to share it. And she said, this is, this is how she sends all of her orders. So just so many different little extra pieces in here. This is gorgeous. I'm pretty sure I didn't purchase this. I think this was an extra, which that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> So that's awesome, I'm very excited, but but I'm just so excited for this piece that I purchased, and I don't remember the price range in my head, but you know, everything's a little bit different, so I'm not even gonna mention the price range, but I've been looking for a full vintage sheet for a while, and so I know that I chose her shop because the prices were more like what I felt happy with, and, I accidentally took this off, but look at this. She even has a cute little envelope that she made out of a book page or a magazine page. Oh my goodness, and a little tea pack. I, I really didn't expect this. I've bought things from eBay often, and a lot of times they've just been thrown in, you know, like bags, but look how beautiful this is. I can't even undo all of this, but it's super nice and clean. And if I'm buying a vintage bed sheet, I'm going to expect that maybe there's some staining on it or it's not in pristine <laughs> condition, but this is gorgeous. And I just can't even think about how many things I can make with this. I want to get creative because I can make way more than a few journal covers. So I'm excited for that. There's so much more we got to go through. So thank you to that seller. I can't think of her name off the top of my head. I got a few more things from eBay because I was looking for a specific books. Um, actually, sorry, this is from thrift books. And so is this. Okay. I know that you guys are always obsessed with Edith, Edith Holden books too. <laughs> and yes, I bought four of them because I found them for a good price. Again, I think this seller was like world book, something like that world book of USA. I don't remember, but I'm going to have it all listed down below for you guys. So this is one of my favorite botanical books that I like to use. Um, cutting the flor florals out for embellishments. I just love this journal so much. Not journal book. And um, then I got four of these because, yes, I'm going to probably be using these pages for um, my mail that I send out. And so I need a lot. But these books are just really, really pretty. And they can be hard to find, but 
I found those four. And I didn't take them all. It looked like there was a lot of these. So hopefully by the time I put this video up, there still is. I got a few things from Amazon on here as well. What was it? Maybe it was just these two things. Uh, and I got some more, but I've been using it. Um, yes, let me see. So I heard that someone told me that Tim Holtz 12 by 12 paper pads were not going to be sold anymore. And I don't know if that's true, but I haven't found them at my Joann's. So I had to grab one and I found it on Amazon. Um, and I was going to get a couple because this is just my favorite paper pad ever. You can't even see that. Um, and if it's not going to be sold anymore, I really wanted to stock up. I think it was 14 or $15, which is pretty decent for, um, the paper pad, but yeah, I'm going to be sad if this is not sold anymore. So I, I had to at least get one. I did grab these, um, postcards as well for my June mail. And I probably won't open up and go through all of them right now. Maybe at the end if there's time because we still have so much to go through. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> Sorry, this is so not organized. I had a free book credits from thriftbooks.com and I got these two. And this I think is similar to that book I just showed you. But it's just a smaller version. Really cute. Um, and I love shopping at thriftbooks.com. You can earn free books, so I'll have my link down below if you want to check that out. But this was another one, and this is kind of cool because it's like, uh, what do you call this? Um, embroidery? These, these pages are very shiny, but I do like this one. And this is called Wildflowers by Carol Armstrong. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, I got some quite a bit of happy mail. Let me show you this first. I grabbed this. I just went into Joann's one day to grab something that I needed like glue or something. And this was on the remnants and I could not believe it. I wished I could get more, but it was a, a good price. It was $4.88, but I had a coupon as well. And um, you just know, if you know, you know. Okay, it looks like it's maybe cut in a few places. No, okay. It, that is so cute. It's kind of like a really soft fleece material, but it's thin. So yeah, I'm very excited to have that. Um, I found a few random things at Ikea, but one was these napkins, and I just thought they were so pretty, and since I like to have napkins on hand for decoupaging and different things, um, I grabbed two packs. Let's see. I have some things from Joann's, but let's get to the Happy Mail real quick, and then we'll go back to the haul. Thank you to Lori. She's one of my Patreon members, but she's also one of my longest subscribers. And I guess she heard in one of my videos that I was my little mini stapler had not been working well. And she got this from Amazon for me and sent it to me as a nice little like housewarming gift. And that was so sweet because I am very, very excited for this. Thank you, Lori. That's so nice of you. And then I have a couple things for mail. <clears throat> I need scissors. So this one is from Lindsay Morgan. She's on, um, what am I trying to say? She is on Instagram under Vendable Fancies. She does lots of like pen pal and happy mail kind of things. And she does uh, sometimes craft D stashes. Oh, she has some stuff for Alistair and Orlo. I probably, I'm not gonna open up everything. I just, I know that she doesn't mind if I show these things. A nice little pretty card. She is, wow, there's like fighter jets. Okay, well, there were some, I think, fighter jets that just flew over my house very loud, and I, I assumed my kids were going to come out and be scared, but I was just me who was scared. Okay, um, oh, wow, cool. She sent me a really cute little Oregon, I'm in Oregon if you didn't know, card. That is so cute. I'm not going to read everything on here, but look, she has little stickers for her her um, like company or business, uh, I, whatever you want to call it. And Alistair and Arlo, that's so sweet. I'm going to give that to them after I am done filming. Oh boy, that was loud. I'm, I'm sure I took it out of the video, but it was very, very loud and scary. <laughs> it doesn't take much to scare me though. I'm trying not to break this, but... I'm gonna have to. There we 
go. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh my, such pretty little pieces. <gasps> she has, she finds like the best vintage things. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. I love like vintage tags and look, vintage um, recipe cards. Oh, this is such a nice little surprise. I wasn't expecting this. There, well, I'm excited to go through this a little bit more. Um, vintage library cards. really pretty fabric wow this is so cool i'll open that in a minute vintage papers there was like vintage little slides and stamps some fabric here a strip oh that is gorgeous i'm excited for that i'm not sure what's in this little box but it's like packaged so cute that i don't want to take it apart it might be a little like paper pad I'm not sure let's see I feel like we have to at least open it up let's see if I can pull some out yep oh are these oh okay these are like vocabulary cards a bunch of them and yeah she packages all of her stuff up so cute she had a shop for a while I don't think that she has a shop right now but if she does I will put that below and I'm curious if this is just like a collaged card. I'm not sure if she did this. I could definitely see her. I'm pretty sure. I feel like she did make this. And oh, it's a little journal. Like a little, that is so cute. A little mini journal. And it has this cute little envelope even that it could fit in. Love that. Thank you, Lindsay. It's so cute. I'm excited to open the things up with my kids as well. They will be excited to have something to open. This is from Jade. She's one of my Patreon members. She sends me the cutest stuff. I'm trying to open this smartly, but quickly. Okay. Whoopsies, I really hope I didn't just, sorry guys. I hope I didn't ruin anything. Oh my gosh, so sweet. Something else for Arlo that is just the sweetest thing ever. And it looks like, I hope I didn't break this. Oh, it was washi together and I think I ripped it off. There we go. It's a cute little pocket and it has some little things inside here. That is really cute. A little collage card stickers and I love that she adds on like oh oh actually no these are like little homemade postcard um like embellishments and I'm sure she made these because she has the cutest ideas I always get ideas from her her stuff the stickers she always has and sends me are the cutest ever a little note that I'll just read for myself and let's see what's in here Thank you so much for sending me some lovely things. Oh, she made a little snippet strip kind of thing. And I love the paper that she used. It has, I think it's like called piano paper. That is such a cool idea because it has like texture and like little holes. I love that. And this is just so pretty. You are so good at collaging and putting things together. It, it really inspires me. So thank you so much for my goodies. And like I said, I think I just have a couple more things that I got from Joann's. Um, they were having like a Memorial Day sale. I just needed, I wanted to get a couple more laces. Sorry, I'm reaching over here. And they didn't have the laces that I was looking for, but I did like these ones. They were like $1.99 and they were 60% off on the day that I went in. And they're just kind of like, little um, crocheted looking laces. I found these two stamp sets and I am going to um, include these as like a giveaway for my Patreon members. I do exclusive giveaways for my Patreon members pretty regularly. And so these are just easy enough to stick into the mail that I'm already sending. So I'll post about that shortly. And then what else? Oh, a couple more things here. Oops. some washi tapes that I found in the Park Lane um, collections. I don't like glitter washi tape, but I really, I had to just get this set because I love the little sunflowers. 
so cute and then these are just like wildflowers it says bloom on it and these are really pretty and they're $2.49 and I had a coupon again so they were really really cheap these napkins I had to grab too because they almost look like they are cloth like um, I'm curious if it would be easy to open these up because I am so wanting to feel them I'm sure they're just paper, but they really look like cloth. So I thought these would be really fun to use for collaging. Yeah, they are a bit more like a rough feeling texture, but these are so pretty. So I was excited to get those. They were really inexpensive. I got some macrame cord because I have been really into houseplants. If you have seen any of my posts of houseplants and I wanted to make some of my own hanging planters. And then I also grabbed two of these because they were also 60% off um, and these were just super pretty. So that's everything for this random haul. Um, I guess I did say <clears throat> that maybe we could add, open up these postcards, but I think this video is long enough. So I'll probably show these in a video all on its own so you can see what's coming up for the June Patreon members. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.